Okay, let's talk about radio piston pumps. These are fixed displacement radio piston pumps. And uh, I think these are very, very interesting little units over here. Uh, we're gonna go down all the way to the bottom of the page of the catalog. And uh, we're gonna see how many of these we have. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different units. And that's uh, eight different units into one, two, three, uh, four diff uh, three different series. We have the series LH20, then LMH80, and then we have the C series, C4, 5, and 11. So the 20 and the 80, they both have seven pistons each. Uh, the 20 has two different displacements. Uh, the 80 has three different displacement and the C has three different displacements with 14 piston for each pump. Now, uh, if we look at over here in this section, we have the pressure ratings and you see it comes up to 10,000 PSI, but you have to be careful because there's 10,000 PSI up to the very end over here. That's just for intermittent and you have to watch uh, the little star over here uh, next to the number, uh, that means the pump is intermittent only. Uh, that means that I would not run it more than five seconds, let's say. So it's only for a few seconds that you're going to run it at that pressure. Really, the pressure that you want is the constant operation, the continuous pressure, and that is up to the, the ones that don't have that little star over here. So if we pick up, for example, the H80 over here, and we keep on running. We see 6,000 PSI, 1.85 GPM at 6,000 PSI. That is continuous pressure. So if we go to the C11 over here, uh, we have 10.5 uh, GPM at 5,000 psi, and that would and that is also the RPM on top. This is a 1,200 RPM. That's the maximum RPM that you can run it, and the other two are 1,800 RPM. So the best way to pick a pump is by coming to this chart over here, and you can see the maximum continuous pressure and the uh, um, the uh, GPM that is going to give you at that pressure. So that's the best way to pick it up. Um, also, you would notice if uh, the pressure goes down, the, the GPM goes higher up. So that's another thing that you can look at it, uh, the different uh, flow uh, that they will give you a different pressure rating. Uh, now, let's go to, to the area that I think is interesting over here. And let's pick on, uh, let's say, let's pick on this one. Let's pick on the 80 series. These pumps over here. Uh, you, you build the part number and you go, you pick one of this, you pick one of this over here, the LH, the, the, the uh, GPM and the pressure. Again, I would not go with these numbers. I would go with the with a chart on the bottom uh, so that you know for sure uh, what you're dealing with. This is just a nominal reference uh, information. Uh, and then the CEOs and everything. Now we go to the interesting part that I believe it is interesting. For example, the H series, the H80. It has a total of seven pistons. It has a total of seven pistons. And you can have from one to seven outlets, actually. You can have one through seven. But you can distribute the, the flow uh, of the piston depending on the outlets that you're going to have. So let's say you only want two. You can put only two outlets. Or you can put only three outlets. But you still have seven pistons available for flow. So the, the way that you do it, I'm going to give you, a, this is an example over here. Let's say you only want two outlets. You don't want seven, you want two. And you say, okay, I want two outlets and I'll put over here in number two. And then you go to the next number and it says 1P over here. This is the example. So uh, on, the, on the first outlet, on the first outlet on this position over here, you can say on the first outlet, I want one, I want two, I want three, I want four, or I want six pistons. To deliver flow to that to that one port, and you can say, okay, two pistons on the first piston. I want on on the first port. I want let's say two pistons to be delivering. So let's say it's two over here, two pistons for the first port. Then uh, you go to the next one, and you have uh, another five pistons available. It's a total of seven. So you use you you use two. 
you still have another five and you can save okay for the second position i put i'm gonna put five this this number over here says six because it's the reference in the catalog but you can make it five or you can make it four you can make it uh, whatever amount of pistons that that are free that you're not sending to the first port you can send it to the second port so you can vary this one you can do it one and six you can do two and five you can do three and four you can do whatever you want you can do seven and zero <laughs> you know and, and you can vary the the distribution of the flow of the total flow of this pump to what port do you want it to get it out so that's a very interesting on the uh, on the fixed displacement piston. Uh, that is not something that many pumps offer, you know. And depending on your application, depending on your pressure, you can have a, a huge range of variation of division of the flow. You can divide this this 1.3 in seven. You can divide this 0.9 in seven. You can divide this uh, 4.3.7 in seven. You know, usually people don't divide it that much. You know, usually you want two or three ports because for most of the time you, you're not going to need seven ports out. But you have that option to divide it. And uh, so that's I think it's very interesting. It gives a very, a very a flexible uh, outlets of flows and pressure that you can have out of one pump, you know. Uh, so that's uh, I think it's very interesting. So anyway guys, this is the video for today uh, These are the uh, fixed displacement piston pumps that we have available high variation of flow and uh, Good for I, I would call it. I would say medium to high range pressure uh, But uh, the best way to look at it is through this chart again. So anyway guys, this is the video for today We'll see you next time Bye-bye